Hey, Nick. I think your friend's here. You know this guy, right? Hi, Ichiban. Hey, thanks for all the help. So did you really want to shake Alki's hand that bad? Or was there more to the plan? Yeah, it wasn't about the handshake. That was just stage one, man. Plenty more to come, now that the young master took the bait. Well, I still think stage two is more than a little shaky. Can someone fill me in on what it is already? Okay. So Aoki ordered Sawashiro to kill Masumi Arakawa. Our first move was to tell Aoki there's a recording of him giving that order in the Arakawa family office. What? Is there really? Of course not. Huh? It's bullshit, and he totally knows that. But the beauty of it is, he can't risk ignoring it. Because if there's even a 1% chance it's true, he goes to jail and his whole life goes up in smoke. So now, he has to do a sweep of the captain's office. I'm sure they'll turn the whole Arakawa office upside down looking for it. Not just Sarashiro's. Yeah, plus I told them we were planning to go get the recording. I said we'd do that before the polls close tomorrow. Which means Aoki is gonna be desperate to find that data before we do. No doubt he's gonna throw some serious manpower at the task. Think of the scene at the Millennium Tower tonight. It's gonna be swarming with Omi Yakuza. But then what? Well, they can search all night and of course they won't find shit. But Aoki won't be satisfied. After his minions turn up empty-handed, he's gonna send his biggest, baddest dude. Tendo, right? Yep. The guy who killed Arakawa-san. Not to mention he tried to blow us up, too. We would have been screwed if Adachi-san hadn't noticed something was off. Kasuga, we need to go! Huh? Everyone, get out! True. Add that to the pile of reasons to take revenge on Tendo. But what do we do about Aoki? We'll get to him, but he can take a fucking number. Tendo was the highest name on my shit list. You really think he'll show up at the tower? Right now, he's basically the leader of the Tokyo Omi Alliance. So he's desperate for the recording too. He'll show up when they don't find it. I think it's a solid plan. And besides, does anybody have a better idea? Nope. And I wish I'd come up with this one. What use am I if all the good ideas are coming out of Kasuga's head? I have the same problem. Good plan or not, I wouldn't count on Aoki and Tendo waiting until tomorrow. I think they're gonna come and take care of you first chance they get. In case you forgot, you're on enemy turf here in Kamurocho. <laughs> you set foot outside, and every cat in this town will pounce on you like a mouse. Sounds good to me. I've been sitting on my hands so long I'm down to warm up with some cats before I take on the lions. Really? I gotta go through the Arakara office with a fine-toothed comb for this shit? Correct. Sounds to me like me and my guys are cleaning up after your mistake. Yes, you are. Do you need every order I give you explained in minute detail? Sorry I'm not on the same wavelength you and Sawashiro were. <sighs> I'm guessing Kasuga survived after all, huh? That's a loose end I'm actually glad to tie up for you. And this time, I'll make sure it never unravels. Any objections? Oh, now you want to be careful and not say naughty stuff out loud. Worried there's a recorder nearby, huh? Smart man. I'll just say one thing. Yeah? If anything ever happens to me, your little Omi Alliance fun patrol is dead in the water. This castle you've built is on pillars of sand. Without me, those pillars all turn to mud. The same can't be said of you. I can replace you in a heartbeat, as many times as I need. We are not on equal ground, Tendo. 
What? Think I don't know any of this? You should realize, though, we're just getting started. The Tokyo Omi Alliance is gonna earn your respect. Trust me. You can earn it by just focusing on the job you have now, protecting me, which is in your best interest anyway. See how these things go together? As long as I'm your top priority, I'll continue to seek your services. It's that simple. Yeah, yeah, I get it. But Aoki-sensei... What is it? Someday, I think you're gonna see the value of our services. You'll come around. This used to be the Arakawa family office way back then. It was small, but it was comfy. Hmm. It must have been like a home to you, huh, Ichiban? Yeah. You guys should go home and visit every now and then. Never know when that chance might be gone. Those are heavy words coming from you. Mako-chan! Damn. Father Time has not been kind to you. He was a real jerk to you too, Adachi-san. It's been a while. Who's this? The rarest of creatures. A detective you can actually trust. His name's Makoto Date. So you're Ichiban Kasuga. <laughs> Rumors are true. You got eyes just like he did back in the day. Like who did? An old friend. Nobody you would know. Anyway, I hear you're trying to keep a low profile. Well, you couldn't ask for a better spot. Go on, get some rest. It's late. You sure? Any friend of Adachi Senpai is a friend of mine. From what I've heard, you've got a big day tomorrow. Do what you need here to rest up. Wow. Thanks a bunch, man. Take care. Appreciate it, Mako-chan. Sorry to get you wrapped up in this. <sighs> this is a walk in the park compared to the shenanigans I usually get roped into. <laughs> Good luck, Ichiban Kasuga. You too! Good morning, Ichiban. TV says the polls are already open. I wonder if anyone's put a check next to your name yet. Oh, I'm sure someone's done that as a joke by now. <laughs> or a pity vote. Hey, Ichiban. Hmm? We're ready to go when you are. 
The Millennium Tower is standing there like a big old beacon. Of course, once you step inside, remember, that's an act of war against Ryo Aoki and the Omi Alliance. Yep, if we go in, there's no going back. You probably better tie up any loose ends first, Ichiban. Thank you. 